Welcome to Core Updates Hub, subscribe and press the bell icon for more updates. The world woke up to a seismic shock, not from a fault line but from a clean room in Shanghai. China's top chipmaker SMIC has reportedly produced a 2 nanometer chip. This leap was thought impossible for China for at least another decade. The announcement sent shockwaves through global markets. Tech stocks in Taipei, Seoul and New York City trembled. The balance of power in the 21st century is built on silicon and China just redrew the map. This is more than a technical achievement, it's a bold statement of defiance. For years the US tried to contain China's tech ambitions with sanctions and export controls. The goal keep America and its allies ahead in the race for the future but today, that strategy appears to be in tatters. China has not just survived the pressure, it has thrived. This breakthrough signals a new era of technological competition. Imagine the scene in Washington, alarms ringing, lawmakers demanding answers. How did a company, cut off from the world's most advanced tools, make such a monumental jump? This isn't just about smartphones. It's about who controls the future of AI and military hardware. The implications are vast and deeply unsettling for the West. The story of this chip is one of ambition and national will. Beijing has poured billions into its semiconductor industry, marshalling its brightest minds. China has built an ecosystem designed to overcome any obstacle. The message from China? It will not be held back. It will not be denied its place as a global technology leader. The world is now on notice. A new superpower has arrived in advanced microchips. The game has changed, forever. The race for technological supremacy just entered a new phase. Two nanometer chips may sound abstract but in semiconductors, smaller means more power and efficiency. Billions more transistors can be packed onto a single chip, unlocking the next generation of technology. For years, only TSMC and Samsung held this level of manufacturing prowess. Intel has been fighting to catch up, investing billions. China's SMIC was considered far behind, stuck at older nodes. US sanctions were meant to keep it that way. The idea that SMIC could leapfrog to 2 nanometers was dismissed as fantasy. Then came the news, SMIC had made a generational leap. Engineers in Silicon Valley and Taiwan scrambled to understand how. It defies the known logic of the industry and challenges US containment strategy. The shock isn't just that China did it, but how quickly. China may soon produce the world's most advanced chips on its own soil. No more reliance on foreign foundries. This has massive implications for Chinese tech giants and military modernization. Advanced weapon systems depend on these chips. SMIC's 2 nanometer success is not just commercial, it's a strategic victory for Beijing. The global tech landscape has shifted overnight, the West must now rethink its assumptions. The chip race is no longer a two-player game. China is now a contender at the highest level, the stakes have never been higher, the world is watching. The world's most advanced chips are made with EUV lithography, machines only ASML in the Netherlands can build. Under US pressure ASML is forbidden from selling these to China. Without EUV China was thought to be stuck, limited to older DUV technology. Using DUV for 2 nanometer chips was considered commercially unviable, like painting a miniature with a housebrush. Yet, SMIC appears to have cracked the code. They push DUV far beyond its limits, using complex multi-patterning and precision engineering. This required immense innovation in materials, software and process control. It's a testament to the ingenuity of Chinese engineers. While the West focused on blocking EUV, China forged a different route. This DUV breakthrough shows China can innovate around sanctions. Denying access to a tool is not a foolproof strategy. The process may be less efficient, but it works. China now has a pathway to high-end chips, today not years from now. Western policymakers have been blindsided. What was thought a dead end is now a superhighway for China's ambitions. The rules of the chip game have changed. The US waged a technological blockade against China's tech industry. The entity list blacklisted companies like Huawei and SMIC, cutting them off from critical tech. Washington pressured allies to block sales of advanced equipment and materials. For a time it seemed to work. SMIC struggled, Huawei's smartphone business was decimated. The West believed it had contained the threat. But China responded with a massive, state-funded drive for self-sufficiency. The semiconductor industry became a top national priority. Billions poured into R&D and top talent was recruited globally. China built a parallel tech universe, replicating and replacing foreign inputs. This was a national survival strategy. The 2 nanometer chip is the fruit of that effort. SMIC and partners rebuilt the entire supply chain inside China. They developed their own design software, chemicals and equipment. While the West built walls, China learned to tunnel under them. Sanctions meant to cripple became a catalyst for innovation. The blockade failed. China is now stronger and more resilient. The lesson pressure can breed extraordinary innovation. The West underestimated China's resolve. The chip war has entered a new unpredictable phase. The world must adapt to this new reality. At the heart of this breakthrough is the Huawei SMIC alliance, 
a state-sanctioned partnership forged by necessity. Huawei brings world-class chip design, SMIC brings manufacturing muscle. Together, they form a vertically integrated powerhouse. When the US cut off Huawei from foreign foundries, survival demanded collaboration. Beijing pushed the two to work as one, with a singular goal break the American chokehold. This tight feedback loop allowed co-optimization of design and manufacturing, squeezing every drop of performance from DUV. Unlike the traditional designer foundry model, this alliance operates with a unified national mission. Technological sovereignty, not just profit, is the goal. This enables risk-taking and long-term investment. The results are clear, from the 7 nanometers chip in 2023 to today's 2 nanometers leap. The partnership has created a self-sustaining ecosystem. Huawei provides demand and advanced designs, SMIC delivers manufacturing, together they drive the domestic supply chain forward. The flywheel effect is accelerating China's tech progress, the world is witnessing the rise of a true national champion. For decades, semiconductors were dominated by TSMC, Intel and Samsung. SMIC was seen as a second-tier player, years behind. Sanctions were expected to widen that gap. The 2 nanometer breakthrough shatters that belief. If reports are accurate, SMIC has closed a decade-long deficit in just a few years. TSMC and Samsung are ramping up 2 nanometers production for 2025. Intel is targeting the same. For SMIC to be at this level is monumental. The competitive landscape has changed. There's now a third major contender. SMIC has a massive home market and state backing. TSMC and Intel now face a rival that plays by different rules. The comfortable duopoly is over. The race is more intense than ever. SMIC's rise introduces a new, unpredictable variable. The global chip war just got a new player. The future of the industry is up for grabs. The race for advanced chips isn't just about faster gadgets, it's about controlling the future of AI. AI is transforming every industry, and its engine is the semiconductor. Two nanometer chips enable more powerful, efficient AI models. The nation that leads in AI chips will lead the world in the AI revolution. Until now, the US held the edge. NVIDIA designs, TSMC manufactures. SMIC's breakthrough threatens to erase that advantage. China will soon mass-produce its own advanced AI accelerators. It can build supercomputers to train powerful AI models, free from foreign reliance. This has profound national security implications. The future of warfare, autonomous drones, cyber warfare, AI command, depends on these chips. If China produces 2 nanometers chips at scale, its military could match or surpass the US. The AI arms race is real and accelerating. Semiconductor supremacy is now the battleground for 21th century leadership. SMIC's achievement has raised the stakes to a new level. The world is entering an era of unprecedented technological rivalry. The news from Shanghai has landed like a bombshell in Washington. Years of US policy to contain China's tech ambitions have been upended. The sense of American technological superiority is shaken. The geopolitical tremors are felt most in Taiwan, home to TSMC. Taiwan's silicon shield was its best defense. Now that shield is less effective. A self-reliant China changes the strategic calculation over Taiwan. Washington will likely push for tougher sanctions and more domestic investment. The tech cold war is entering a more dangerous phase. The world is watching how the US will respond. The risk of miscalculation is high. China has shown it cannot be contained. The Indo-Pacific's fragile stability is under greater strain. The 2 nanometer breakthrough is stunning, but mass production is a different challenge. Creating a prototype is one thing, making millions at high quality and low cost is another. The key metric is yield, the percentage of usable chips per wafer. Using DUV for 2 nanometers is prone to errors and low yields. Initial yields may be low, making chips expensive and suitable only for critical uses. Improving yield is slow and requires immense expertise. TSMC's manufacturing discipline is legendary. SMIC faces a steep learning curve, it could take years to reach commercial viability. The immediate threat to TSMC's dominance is limited, but China's determination is clear, they will pour resources into solving yield problems. With a massive domestic market and state backing, SMIC has a long but determined road ahead, the quest for perfection has only just begun.